Hey everybody, John with OWL. We're inside the office today because I want to do a quick technical discussion on the Van Compass Baja bracket, which I have here. Ta-da! I know, it doesn't look like much, but I'm going to explain why it exists and why Van Compass came out with it. Uh, I thought the best way to do this was in here, uh, not to mention the fact that both our vans are away at shows right now that we normally have in the lot that I can work with, but um, I can draw some things and walk you through why this product exists. I noticed a few people posted online in some of the forums, hey, what's the Baja bracket for? What problem is it solving, etc. cetera. So uh, the way, I think we need to start with the way these shocks mount. This is a Falcon adjustable shock from Van Compass 4363, et cetera. Fantastic shock. If you haven't um, had a suspension with these adjustable piggyback reservoir shocks, it's amazing. Go ahead and we've got another video that talks about suspension. If you wanna check that out, it goes through um, how shocks work, how suspension works, uh, leaf springs, etc. cetera. Um, suffice it to say that the added fluid of the piggyback reservoir really helps keep the shock temperatures down, which helps keep the shock uh, operating optimally while you're off-road. Now, how does this attach, attach to the van? It's actually uh, attached to the van with a single bolt on top, which, keep in mind, we are asking a lot more of our vans going off-road than we are a van that is delivering Amazon packages. So a uh, part that works really well for the van in general, for thousands and thousands of miles without a problem, once you start hammering your vehicle off-road and wheeling and so on, you're gonna have failures in parts that wouldn't otherwise fail on the street. The way the shock mounts to a vehicle or, or to a sprinter van is this. The top of the shock goes this way, has a single bolt that threads into the unibody of the vehicle. And you can see it's cantilevered. Uh, you can see how much leverage that shock has. And what ends up happening is as, so let's draw this here. We've got, um, we'll call this the unibody of the vehicle, okay? The rest of the vehicle is kind of up here. You've got the shock, which we're going to draw here in green. <clears throat> and then what you've got is the OEM bolt. So the way this works is this bolt is going to, and again, all oversimplified, it threads into the unibody. And so as you can see, as this bolt, as forces move the end of that bolt up and down, what can happen is you can get a failure in that bolt over time. And it's obviously going to happen to you in the worst possible scenario when you are off-road in the middle of nowhere and there's no tow trucks around. So we obviously want to mitigate any failures in general, but certainly when you're off-road away from uh, easy assistance. So again, that shock moving up and down can cause this bolt to fail. It's pretty easy to see how if instead of supporting that bolt on a single side, if you supported it on two sides, how much stronger that is. And that's essentially what the Baja bracket does. So what the Baja bracket does, so this goes in next to the unibody. So we'll draw it in here. Let's do pink. So the Baja bracket will come in here, go along the unibody over the top, and come down on this side and then in the back it's going to bolt in as well and what this does is it puts support on two sides of that bolt and i can show you with this bracket so what happens is there's a hole in the unibody where this sleeve slots in for added strength and then again this bolts to the front and i'll put some pictures on screen and hopefully allow that to be a little more clear then the actual shock comes in like this the bolt that used to be cantilevered, you can see is now supported. So imagine that over here is the van. My hand is the van again. Okay, so now you can see that that bolt is supported on two sides now. You've got one side into the van and the other side's got this bracket supporting it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that shock to move up and down and support with support on both sides of that bolt. So that bolt doesn't fatigue over time and snap. Uh, if you do have a bolt failure, it's not the end of the world. It can be replaced fairly easily. We've replaced a number of them. We've had it happen to our vehicles. It's really just something six of one, half a dozen of another. Some people have it, never have a problem. 
other people have gone through multiple shock bolts. It's just, uh, it's part luck, it's part the nature of the beast. But I want to just go through the Baja Bracket, describe what it does for people that may be wondering. And this can be retrofitted to a uh, customer. If you have a 4.3, a 6.3, or even stock suspension, and you just don't want to risk having this failure, you can install a Baja Bracket. It's not that difficult and it is back compatible. So you're not gonna have to pull all the suspension off your vehicle. You'll have to undo the shock tower bolt. It's not really a tower, the top shock bolt uh, and remove it to install the Baja Bracket, but um, definitely something that I would recommend. It's not something we make a lot of money on, so I'm not like pitching a sale here, but if you are someone who takes your van off-road and you want a little bit of peace of mind that you're not gonna have that failure, the Baja Bracket is a really simple, elegant solution for the rear shock bolt failure. Hopefully that was informative and not too dry. If you have any questions, we have a great staff here that you can give a, a call to who can answer any questions for you. If you have questions about the Baja Brackets or suspension in general, um, or you can jump on our website, alvans.com. Thanks. <laughs>